I'm Richard Randall. You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker. She's the host of the program. Now, Barb, many home sellers want to sell their homes for the most money they can get. That makes sense. However, there are some situations where people need to use other non-traditional ways of selling. So tell us why it would be better for someone to take a cash buyer versus a traditional way of selling a home. Well, Richard, you know, we start with the reason. What's the reason for the home seller selling? We want to know what their motivation is, what their ideal timeline for getting it done, um, what do they think the process should be. And there's, there is a growing number of population out there that really just wants the easy button. Here, send me an offer, click, I'm done, and I just have to move out of the house. And that's okay. There is a cost to that. But the question is, are you leaving money on the table? And most home sellers really want top dollar for their home. I'd say that's 99% of the sellers I speak with. Um, and some may need to sell a home quickly. Some might require extensive rehabs. I met with a gentleman last week that his home needs a lot of rehab. So they're going to have to do the as is strategy, but selling to an investor probably will leave more money on the table than they're comfortable with. Um, and so that's part of what we do to kind of figure out really what their objective is. And, you know, the question of course is how sellable is the home? If it needs extensive repairs, we have gone on the market with homes like that. Um, usually the, in those cases, we empty them out, you know, as much as we can. And but there's you have to price it below the current market value to get interest in it. And you have to leave enough room in that case for a rehabber to come uh, financially, a rehabber to be able to remodel the home and resell it and make a little profit. Um, and there are some buildings and properties that are a little bit tricky to finance. Like if you have multiple homes sitting on one parcel, uh, I sold one a couple of years ago that had, it had one home is on a 40 acre parcel. So it had one stick built home. Then they let their friend move in the manufactured, a new manufactured home on the same parcel. Then together they built this massive barn that had like a, cowboy apartment. So that was a third parcel. And it was just a unicorn for getting lending. Uh, that poor buyer went through probably more than 30 lenders to find somebody to do it. And they ended up having to get a commercial loan to close on the property. So there's that, there's those sometimes. The other ones are older single wide homes, especially the ones built prior to 1980 are very, very difficult to get financing on. Most of the manufactured homes, if they're put on a foundation, can be financed. In fact, they can get VA and FHA financing. So those are pretty easy to sell, but just some of the older ones are, are a little bit tricky. And if you plan to sell the home through the traditional process, most buyers in most cases want to buy homes, but they don't want to buy them as is. So the normal and very painful process is you put your home on the market, they do an inspection, they come back and they ask for stuff. And then there's more negotiations going on and it takes away some of the certainty of getting to the finish line. Um, the only exception would be fixer uppers. Uh, I had one that we sold a few months ago that really was very cosmetically challenged. But the seller did the right thing and priced it well below market value. In that case, we just held two one-hour open houses. That was it. In each one, we had 35 people attend, buyers coming to attend. And uh, we ended up with 10 offers, and it sold for well over asking price. Um, we actually had one that was getting financing because there, there is a small amount of population out there that has the skills and the resources and the contacts to do their own fix up and live in the home. And they might be able to do it cheaper than say a professional fix and flip company. So we got one of those offers. It was well above asking price, but the seller opted for cash because she just wanted to be done really quickly. Um, and I have a friend uh, that I used to list her homes until she became a real estate agent. And then she didn't need me anymore, but we're still friends. And um, she told me, she her big specialty is 
finding homes that are uber discounted. And then she has a, a whole team that goes in and remodels. And her work is amazing. I mean, she transforms these homes, tearing down walls and opening things up. She's really, really talented. And um, anyway, one of her quotes is, you know, there's a graduate every week to fix and flip school that will overpay for homes. So a lot of times that's her competition on these uh, low priced homes. And typically it's not enough for her to um, make an investment in that. And then what about building a new home? We have problems with that too, because many of the builders, some of them will not accept a sale contingency at all. Like they'll say, sure, you can contract on one of my properties, but guess what? It cannot be contingent on your home selling because they're not gonna build a house according to what this buyer wants and then have them bail out because they can't sell their home for whatever reason. So that kind of puts a lot of home um, buyers into a box if they have a house to sell. And actually it's a good 69% of buyers out there have to sell a home in order to perform. So the problem is they have to go sell their home first and go stay in temporary housing until they their new home is ready. And that's a little bit difficult. And the builders that will accept a sale contingency is usually just for a short period of time. And after which, um, if they don't have their house sold, either their earnest deposit becomes non-refundable or um, they're going to have to bail out and get another buyer. So um, those are very, very tricky to handle. But there are solutions that we have for people. Um, and builders are really offering all kinds of great incentives right now. They're they're offering money to pay the rate down so they can get a better payment, improve the home, all kinds of stuff to make it more attractive for buyers. So how common are these cash investor buyers, right? And how realistically are they in price? So it represents about a quarter of the sales in the U.S. in the past two years. If you go up on Zillow, you'll see want to offer on your home. This is how much you want here. Click right here to get your offer. Right. Um, those are not Zillow actually making the offer. It's I think either open door or offer pad, one of those companies. And yes, they're going to come in well below market value in order to make that happen. But the reason why they're gaining momentum is a lot of people want absolute certainty and they want a quicker closing time. And some of them are willing to take a financial, to leave some equity on the table in order to make the process go with no hassle, no need for an appraisal. It's just basically the easy button of selling a home. So that's why we're seeing a lot of it. And it also takes away from the sellers having to worry about a buyer qualifying for a loan, having to worry about home inspections, having to prepare their home for sale, uh, and they can move when they want. It's an as-is deal. My name is Barb Schlenker. I'm the broker owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyer's team, also the host of this show, Your Real Estate Voice. And we're talking about why more and more home sellers are considering a cash offer to sell their home. And next up, we're going to talk about the benefits of accepting a cash offer and how you can get one in 24 hours. If you are looking to make a move, give us a call at 719-301-3900. We have a system where we can get you multiple cash offers rather than one offer like you see on uh, Zillow. And we have more than 62 high net worth cash buyers. So we can put your home up into what we call our buy box, get the cash buyers to compete with each other, even local cash buyers. And we'll put those offers up against our offers, like a guaranteed cash offer against those offers to see which one works the best for you. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice. That's Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And if you're interested in selling your home and you want to call Barb, the number is 719-301-3900. We're talking, Barb, about selling a home. Why would a home seller be interested in getting a cash offer on their home? Well, I think it's just quick and easy and done and not having to worry about, you know, uh, having the deal with the whole sales process that puts it in doubt. Uh, I was talking to uh, a home seller yesterday that told me when she sold her last home, they were to the inspection process and the buyer walked away. She goes, that just really upset me. And so there's a lot of 
things to get upset about <laughs> in the home sale process. A lot of people just don't want to deal with it. But if you have more time to sell, like two months is probably all it will take. The typical process from start to finish, if you price your home correctly, most of the time we could command a much higher offer for you. So if you're interested in getting one of our offers, you can always call us at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. But the top seven reasons are when people accept these lower cash offers are number one, no appraisal. Number two, an expedited closing process uh, to minimize the risk of the contract failing, to give you peace of mind, certainty that it's sold, minimal repairs, and it's just it's a quick and easy way of doing it. There's not much negotiation. There's not much paperwork. Uh, and sometimes you can get a cash sale closed and probably I've seen them close as fast as 10 days. And that's why they prefer to do it because they can sell their home and get their proceeds now. Um, but there's other options that are better than that. And that's part of what we do is we help home sellers explore all the opportunities of how they can get the most money when they sell their home some of the some of the opportunities are we we can give them a cash buyer right up front uh, when we meet or they can go on the website and ask for it um, we can also take a look at my twenty seven thousand eight hundred and eighteen buyers and waiting on my website we can market and attract all the buyers on zillowrealtor.com we can market to our citywide buyer agent network um, there's just so many different ways that we can attract a whole bunch of buyers to the home that are probably more likely to pay more money for their home than one of these cash buyers. But it's good to look at all the options. It's great for a seller to have multiple choices so they can make the best decision. And that's part of what we do. So if you're interested in getting a cash offer on your home, Go to barbhasthebuyers.com. There's a link right at the top that you can ask for that. You just put in your address and we'll get it to you very quickly. Richard? You're listening to Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And if you're thinking of making a move, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll be talking about will mortgage rates go down in 2024? Stay tuned for that. 